Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I am, I have them. Playing Madden 20, the Houston Oil Daddies. They are the daddies of the oil. We love them, dude. Oh, we love them. As always, we're playing offense only, we're Sim in the D, using that balance playbook, and we are playing on all Madden Arcade mode. What is happening? Why can't I start the game? Thanks. Because you are pressing buttons wrong. I'm, <laughs> I'm a goober. <laughs> is that the best non-swear Dude, you can think I of? Dude, I'm terrible when it comes to not swearing. I don't know, Joe. It's not so hard for me, man, because I'm constantly around like other people who wouldn't accept me swearing. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, him included. Yeah. <laughs> him included. Isn't he always around you? <laughs> Dude, I saw this hey, meme online today, this and it was like a split football. picture, and it was like a picture of somebody, sports. like a big old Ford yeah, truck, and on the back of it, it said, Jesus is my GPS, the and like on the mm. bottom half, it had a cartoon drawing from like the side of like a man driving, and Jesus sitting behind him, whispering in his ear, like, recalculating, lol, <laughs> and it was like, he was what? like, come on, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that one. <laughs> you, me laugh. Like, I've seen yeah, that one. Talking. Jesus is just like holding his shoulders like, Ew. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you, you, can't, you can't go swearing around. Because, you know, I feel you. I don't, I, I really like, I don't swear a lot. You absolutely do swear a lot. No, dude. I feel like you swear more than me and I'm known as the guy who swears at work. Oh, are you? I swear a lot. <laughs> I, I <laughs> but I don't like swear like I feel like it's all situational based. It's like, let me give you an example. It's like when you were like, man, I can't wait to see you out in the public in a social setting. And you were like, oh man, you're like completely different than I thought you were going to be out in front of people. And I'm like, right. I'm not like the guy here that I am like. Oh, uh, I got you. Yeah. All so, right, all right. I mean, because I'm around you, I'll make crude ass jokes and I'll like. I don't know, man. It was kind of hard to really gauge a lot of it in that setting because it was just like so loud and there was so much happening that night but like you know from a distance it, it looked it looked really it looked impressive and then well then the other situation we had a situation so that wasn't for me either exactly so, like, there's a lot of situations going on man yeah where it becomes about the uh the pomp and circumstance and not necessarily about the people so much. yeah dude I, I like but you know what i've been as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon doing very well with all that it's socially not awkward no, then you uh you you've gotten Oh, lot. eat it, friend. Did you take his ball? I did. Oh, Leak, you got his ball, dude. Uh, I took his balls and I went home. <laughs> and you dropped his balls. No, just his balls dropped. That's all right. So you <laughs> I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to flex on my <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm good. I was going to say, sir. You tell me what I was going to say. I'm saying something awesome different. Nah, I wouldn't say that. <clears throat> because everybody already knows, Jonas. Boom! Jonas, your inspiration in life, man. Who's somebody you've always looked up to? You're allowed to say me. Um, I think you're allowed to say me. You. All right. I don't know. Like, you know, okay. I'm glad that you brought this up because right. people will be like, you see it all the time online. Like, you see like a news story reads comments. You're like, oh my god, I've always been an inspiration. I've really like, fuck. Like, I've never like cared about another person like that. Like, I guess, and here's my thing. And I guess, like, from, oh, look at Brody six guns, bro. Brody. I guess I've always, from a age, maybe like not super young, not like a child, mm -hmm. but like as soon as I was like maybe like 15, 16, when you're old enough to be considered like a person, you know what I mean? You're not just like a, a, a circumstance of your environment, yeah. you know? Um, I've never put people on a pedestal. I've always been like, yeah, they might be a famous rock star, but so hmm, the they're just the same as you or I. They just happen to be able to be good at playing music. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, Michael uh, Jordan, Joe Montana, they're my... He, but, like, I didn't, like, look. I wasn't like, I'm going to be him. Yeah. You know, honestly, Jonas, at the risk of hurting us ever having a cult, I'm going to have to agree with you and say is that I've never held anybody in that high of regard. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, I I would say uh, Jordan when I was shooting a jump <laughs> shot. Or right, I would say yeah. Kobe. You're like Montana. I shoot like through a football yeah, or something. Or yeah, I might say LeBron or Kobe or something when I shoot a jump. But I'm not, not going to. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just. And, he, and the reason that I do that is because, like, when you idolize people, it just leaves you to be let down. Yeah, everybody yeah, is man. human and everyone can be a piece of trash. Yeah, and everybody's on Twitter. <laughs> Evereverody on Twitter is trash. Yeah, like, because it's like, you know, you idolize this person and then you fuck. It's like, I, when he, I can't, and I guess if I ever would have had a real hero, it would be someone I knew in real life. Because, like, because the thing of, like, it's like you, you hear all the stories, like, oh, my God, and then they meet, like, their famous rock star idol. He's a dick. And, like, he treats them like crap. Or, Crazy. Like, what? Tracy. Yeah, he's like Dick Tracy. <laughs> and like you, he just like he's just a jerk or like he comes yeah. up and then you're just like then these people get like mortified. But see, just, that goes to the point of so like me liking certain bands and then realizing or even like certain sports figures or whatever and you find, and you like their music and then they do some jerk a whole stuff and then you're like I, do I have to stop liking this guy no, just not like, him. like you know what a perfect R. Kelly I mean do you still listen to XXS when he was on trial for some real messed up stuff innocent until proven guilty okay then R. Kelly Innocent until proven guilty. I like the remix to Ignition. Yo, that dude, song goes oh hard. God, dude. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind, dude. Saying, age is a number that should be respected. Yeah, I got you. No, that um, is the new name of the song. Yeah. Uh, I... Um, yeah, so... Oh, a perfect example of that. Kanye. Like, I like Kanye's music. A lot of it. But he is a person I don't agree with a lot of the things that he does. <laughs> Did you know that freaking album was number one on no! the Billboard? I swear to God, Jesus walks. A hundred and thirty thousand units sold. Sold. Like they Money. bought the album, they didn't just stream. Money. Yes, it's number one currently. So that's like a million dollars. It's a bad album, though. I haven't listened to it, but I've heard nobody tell me it was good. Well, 130,000 people wanted to try it out. <laughs> I was to it on Spotify. It was free. Yo, I don't know how many streams it takes to make a uh, a purchase. I think every listen, they get like... It's a fraction of a... Of or a, something. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so it had a lot of listens, man. Number one. Number one, fam. Dude. Yeah. Uh, but you know you can only fool the masses one good time. Jonas. Oh yeah, his next one he puts out. Everyone will be like, "Oh, we learned our lesson, dog." Yeah, dude, that's a perfect example. Because like, because like I like his music. Like, and I didn't realize sometimes on Spotify what I do is I make a playlist and I take all of an artist, rapper, band, whatever. I put it in a playlist. Mm -hmm. Then I start listening to it, and every song that I hear that I like, I move into another playlist. And after I've listened to it for a while. I delete the all playlist and keep the best playlist because it's like the best however many songs. Well, I did that with Kanye, and I'm like, I have a lot of freaking songs in here. Yeah. Wow, I didn't so know I liked that much music by him. Uh, I mean, yeah, right. you fit the description a little bit there, fam. Of a Kanye liker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't say know, Trump, bro. I don't. Know. I don't. I didn't do it. You what know, you, I wasn't say gonna it. say Trump. I'm just like I don't know. Go like look at look at your life and yourself in the mirror and the clothes you're wearing and your your Kanye liker. Am I? Yeah. I don't wear Yeezys, bro. I mean, yeah. Well, those are com. Is, are those talking, are Kanye enthusiasts. Are you talking about like my new life or like my old life? No. What are you talking about? Who you are as a person is indicative of I'm a Kanye. I'm. You would say of a Kanye. Kanye. Type of person. I'm not saying that you're like Kanye. He's this. <laughs> he's like a black man. He's a black million. You're enough millionaire. In fact, you're the exact counter opposite of a black millionaire. <laughs> you're a white thousander. I have more in common with the trash than Jay Z. I'm just saying is that you fit the description of the base of his uh, his listening group. White guys. I did not say that, Jonas. Is that what you're implying? I'm not implying that, Jonas. Oh, I wasn't Excellent like a black dude. Left. Jonas, side. he's a black millionaire. If anything, you are on the opposite end of the year, white thousandaire. Then has that fit me into his culture? Most of his fan base are guys like you, man. Old white dudes who want to be black. <laughs> 
trying to <laughs> Why are you trying to make it a pejorative? I'm not trying to make it. I know. I'm just <laughs> okay, I like it. I just don't get how I fit it. Yes, most guys who like Kanye just fit the description, Jonas. All right, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You're blanketing me, dude. Like if you look at most of his base, that is what it is. Okay. But, uh,. I mean, Kanye does make really. He used to make really good music. Oh yeah, dude. So, like his first album is one of my favorite albums. Because that was like before he was trying to make it big. He worked on that ish for ten years. <laughs> yeah, that's that is so good. But, oh, and I love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I miss the old Me too, dude. I didn't even really like his second CD. Oh, I love that. Those were some good albums, man. Like college dropout. And yes. Late registration. Late registration. Oh my god. I think I listened to those albums in entirety when I was moving from New York to Florida. But, I mean, that was only a part of the trip. Okay, <laughs> but I do say, remember. Only, his albums are only like 26 minutes. It's, like, 40 six, it's like a 1,600 mile drive. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God. That was the worst drive dude, I've I ever like done. I hated it, man. By the end of that drive, that's 1,600 from New York to Cape Canaveral, Florida, Jonas. Yeah, it's like, I was it's like what, 18 hours, right? Yeah. I was literally screaming out of my car window just, 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 just to feel, just to feel something. I was so uncomfortable. I was so, like my seat, the, all the cushion had been just written in it for 16 hours. And I was like, I saw palm trees and it was hot as hell, dude. When, I swear Georgia was hotter than Florida. Probably, it's like swamp, bro. It was nuts. It was so much hotter. There's a reason Florida because the whole state's only like eight miles wide. Yeah, and yeah, the water on Oh, Joe News in. But yeah, I was literally like screaming out of my window and people are like looking at me. And I'm just like, ah! I didn't wow. care. I felt like I was losing my mind being locked in a car that long by myself. Yeah, dude, I did, uh, I did it. I, I drove from Texas to Minnesota in one day, from Minnesota to Ohio one day, and Ohio to Texas in two days only because it's 22 hours. And I was by myself. I mean, I guess it would have been different if I didn't, my car wasn't like packed to the brim with my belongings that does make as well. A difference. When I drove to Minnesota, when I moved there, my car was packed to the brim with stuff. It was awkward. It sucked. I had to sleep in my car at one point. Sitting up. Just sitting up with like stuff leaning over on me because, of course, it shifts when you start driving. Yeah. I couldn't even like see out of my rear view mirror. <laughs> it sucks, man. I don't know, man. I don't mind driving so much now, but. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I like it. But yeah, I remember when you rode with Chach here. Mm. Yeah, you, you were like, yeah, I don't want to do that. Mm -mm. Is that we, because he smells like a chimney? Or because it's just the drive slips <laughs> off? <laughs> it's too long for me. I just don't like sitting in one spot for Yeah, that you long. don't like sitting for a podcast for like 45 minutes. Well, because, Jonas, I have thin butt cheeks. I think I've made this very well known to everybody. I have thin butt cheeks, Jonas. And it causes me to have great comfort when sitting. <laughs> you an O ring, little mister. <laughs> I will give you a ring if you don't <laughs> need one. <laughs> and it causes me this comfort. Yeah, my, my, my cakes. Uh, whatever, Jonas. You got a fat cookie. Wow, I, dude. I, <laughs> <laughs> You know, I picture something completely well, different when you say fat <laughs> What are you thinking of? It's just like something very plump and like. What that means? Yeah, you're making the uh, hand motions, but I'm not picking up what you're putting down here. That looks like a moose knuckle you've, you've turned your fingers into, Jonas. But it's very plump, too. Are we talking about a moose knuckle? Yes, but plumpy McMoose Knuckles. Yeah, it's kind of clam like in shape. I don't know what you're talking about. That is, I think that, I think. I think <laughs> moose and mice. I think that is what a, uh, a fat cookie is, honestly. Oh, right. I, yeah, because the behind is, is called cakes. Yeah, that's what so, I said. I got, so, I got, so, I got so, you, you got some cakes. Yeah, do I? I, I, I've, been, I've been doing some squats. I love to watch. I <laughs> love to watch you see you leave. I know, dude. I feel like or something. Yeah, man. I, uh. I'm trying to get to the point where I lay across my weight. And it's get, I'm getting close. Congratulations, sir. It's a lot harder than it looks to do that. Uh, I can't do real squats because I have a limited range of motion on my arms. So I do like a leg press machine. But when you're doing like 30 reps, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Why do you need arms to do squats? My arms do not rotate far enough. I cannot fit the bar behind my neck and get my arms around it. it my 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 rotate oh, my hands you mean up. Just like they don't go behind my neck. I so like the bar is completely straight and it, yeah. it just doesn't fit. 
Do you lunge at all? Do <clears throat> lunges? Yeah. I don't do lunges. Currently, I can do lunges, though, as long as I don't have, like, a weight on my neck or whatever. So after the incompletion, uh, you can, like, carry two free weights and do them. We're not going to turn this into gym talk, away. though. Yeah, dude. <laughs> no, we can stop right now. I was Where just saying I have, I have a defect. Or it's, uh, all right. I'm glad you're uh, T-Rex arms. Um, yeah, they're not quite T-Rex arms, but you know, it's cool. Don't give me that look. Trying to give people a picture of who I am. Oh, my God. He has short arms and a huge penis. Look at this guy. I guess he wins. So yeah, you you move when you move from uh, Ohio to here. Yes, you put all your stuff in like one of those boxes, right? We got a. It's like it was like pods, but it wasn't. A, it wasn't the pod company. I remember you sending me a picture of it. It was bigger though. There was two. There was two of them. Yeah, and then uh, and then what happened is a, a semi came to the thing and loaded them up in the semi and drove them down here. And then I packed my car up with some stuff I didn't want to put in the pod, like electronics, and yeah. like clothes, and yeah. how long did it take you to get your stuff uh, to, to drive down here to get our stuff? Then both. We took we took three days to get here just because we didn't we weren't yeah, in a hurry. Yeah. It was just like well we couldn't move into the place until a certain day um, and we were ready. It was like we might as well just go because we were, we had to take two separate cars too because we each owned the car. So we were driving together but separate. So we would drive like eight hours and then stop. Then we drove like eight hours and like stop. I'm just hung out at the hotel when I was like get food whatever hung out and then the next morning we get up drive like eight more hours and the last day was only like five or something. Uh, and then we got here and we could get in, but then we didn't have our stuff for like a day-ish because we had to, because basically my, my ex already had stuff in Texas in a storage unit and we had the stuff. So we had to like get all of it at one time. So we had to wait until, and they couldn't bring the pods to the apartments. So they had to take the pods to their shipping centers. It was just, it was, yeah, it was a, it was a long Yeah, uh, that's the longest, and that took you, you said like eight, it's eight and eight to 16. Two and a half hours driving from Cleveland, Ohio to Washington. Yeah, that's longer than my trip, man. A little bit. When I drove it by myself, if they can get some um, when I came home after when I did the trip that went from like Texas to Minnesota to Ohio back to Texas, Dude. I drove 17 and then stopped and drove and drove the rest of it in the morning. I would never be able to do that, man. It didn't, I didn't, it didn't the phase me. The structural integrity of my of my hind quarters is just not suited for that type of journey. It's yeah, not something I could do. I just did it. I just, like, what I do. <laughs> just did it. I literally didn't even, yeah. like, I literally, like, <clears throat> I have the, like, I don't know if you know this about me. I have the capacity to just zone out to the point that I don't know what's going on. Uh, and I can, like, yeah. just, like, lose time in it. And I just zoned out, man. I mean, I'm only driving on the freeway. Safety first. Um, but <laughs> I just listened to like I had a playlist with like 1,100 songs, and I just put it on, so and I just sang the whole way. I lost, reset. I basically lost my voice. Cause I was, I was Jonas, I don't know, but DAE does anybody else? Does anybody else not really like f with music? Like I love music, I do, but like I don't listen to it anymore. There was a long time of my life where I didn't really listen to music because what to listen to that was new, I burnt my myself out on everything old and it was too yeah. hard to find music because like you had to like torrent it but like yeah. i didn't know what to download i didn't know what was i didn't know who was new i didn't know whatever and then like when spotify came out it was like a godsend for me it, it got me back into music because i was like oh my god everything's at my fingertips and i can make a playlist and they suggest uh -huh. other stuff and like uh, but i just still don't sit around the house and i'm home see, all I, used day to for do that. I used to do that with pandora too but like I even lost kind of interest yeah, in that too. Yeah, but in Pandora, you can't like specifically go look for things. You kind of no. You could you could kind of make playlists though. Like it would. So this yeah, it's not specific. You're right, but you could still like have a playlist of like people you like and enter like their albums into. I don't know, man. Like I don't even listen but, to music but, but, yeah, anymore. Dude, like I don't. I, I'm at home for work all day, and I very rarely listen to music at home. I usually listen to music in the car in the gym. That's like it. What do you listen to when you're here then? Nothing. You're just sitting there. And I'm in there in silence, yeah. I don't have the TV on. I don't have music on. Some days I'll put on music. I'm so jealous of that, man. Holy crap. And, uh, to have like, silence yeah. for the entire day. 
Oh yeah, and everyone God. at work thinks I'm weird because I don't like. I work from home, so and I don't like watch Netflix and I don't like whatever. Uh, uh, no, nothing, dude. Leading them to victory nothing at all. You are literally guys, living my dream. <laughs> I can probably get you a job where I work. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't pay enough, man. Hang out, I need, like bros. I need more than that. Um, <laughs> like make out with you while we're home. <laughs> uh, I need the job, friend. Foot massage. Yeah. You. I want daily so foot massages. Visitors. Yeah. The perfect no. season remains in man. All right, man. Silence. That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, share the video with every person you know in your entire freaking life, including Grandma. And TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.